How is how did your Hajj goes and how do you feel about your Hajj? And uh, talk to me about your Hajj, brother. Mashallah, yeah, Hajj. I felt today, this year was very good. And uh, uh, arriving in Medina was feelings came back about when I went last time. And when I started to go to the mosque and just pray in the Al Roda, it was very much a reminder and experience. Skin slam for the Prophet of Salam. Mashallah. Sure. Reconnect my spiritual, uh, spiritual side in the Hamdullah. Mashallah. Apologize my voice right now. No, that's fine. This is the end of my trip. Mashallah. <coughs> and then, um, then we moved on to Mecca and then uh, started the, the, the rituals, inshallah. Mashallah. From um, uh, going to Mina. I think then I realized, um, you know, what's up with the ikram on? Yeah. This is what it's all about, really. And uh, putting those two pieces of cloth on actually made a switch in your mind about uh, why you wait, why we were here, and what was the purpose for us. So, alhamdulillah, that was a really fulfilling experience. And I think I got more out of it because I read a little bit more yes, than last time. So, inshallah, I'm hoping that um, that has benefited me a lot more. And my advice would be to any brothers and sisters to um, um, read up before you, uh, you come here as well. <coughs> so you could get a really good experience. Understand what Muzdalafa is, understand why you went to Ikram, understand Yom al understand why you joined the Jamrat, understand, understand everything as much as you can. Um, and also, in addition to that, the, the, the Ziyarats, yes. they were very, um, they really added more value to the Hajj experience as well. So this is something that uh, uh, made me feel a little bit more connected to the lands. And I think oh, the added added benefit of having the Sheikh, Sheikh um, Naeem. Naeem, to ask and also to give information really, really did reconnect spiritually as well.